welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I am making a produce soap with all natural persimmon. That's right, I bought a persimmon at the supermarket for a ridiculous price. But hey, I thought it would be fun and I have a persimmon fragrance and I want to make persimmon soap. So come with me and I'll show you how I do it. Squee! First things first, I'm going to add cold lye to cold oils and I'm making another double batch. I have been doing a lot of double batches lately and it's quite exciting. So I'm just mixing to a light emulsification or light trace because I'm going to be adding the produce at trace rather than freezing the produce and adding your lye to the frozen produce which is another way that you can do this kind of a soap. So I have pre-mixed my persimmon with orange oxide and another one with a more of a red and a little bit of yellow to make it like a darker orange because I was trying to get a swirl between the two colours. In the final soap it sort of all came out as just one colour though but it is a nice orange, it's just not the swirl, like I guess I didn't quite do them differently enough. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a mix with the spatula first of both of the jugs and just it's not I'm gonna come through with the stick blender it's not gonna really incorporate that much with just the spatula but now I'm putting the rest of the soap batter into a jug with some white titanium dioxide so that I can get a little bit of an accent on the very top of the soap and it's not gonna have any of the persimmon in it but it will have a little bit of the fragrance oil in it because as far as I know it doesn't discolor so I'm adding a little bit more titanium dioxide to try and make it really nice and white. And now I'm going to stick blend these other jugs with the persimmon and the different oranges in them. So you can't really see the first one. You can Once I take out the stick blender you can see it's quite yellowy. And you can actually see the other one's sort of more of an orangey colour. And both, whoops, <laughs> both the um, colours end up looking like they're at the end like this other one, this darker orange, so it's kind of interesting. So just wipe up my little bit of a mess. And just to be safe, I'm not adding my fragrance oil until right before I pour it in the mold. So I'll just clean up my workspace a little bit after I made a bit of a mess, oops, and get my molds out and I'm ready to add the fragrance oil. And it did do something weird, look at that. It's kind of, it's, it hasn't riced it, but it's kind of reacted, which is strange. So I'm giving it a quick mix with the spatula and mixing um, all the jugs with the spatulas. And actually the white soap that didn't have the persimmon in it took the fragrance oil fine. So there was definitely like a reaction between the persimmon and the fragrance oil. So I'm just coming back through with the stick blender and whipping it into submission. And it does actually come back to a nice fluid glossy texture so I'm pretty happy with that but it was a bit of a freak out for a moment so I can take the stick blender away again and pour in the soap into the mold and well some onto the bench and all down the side <laughs> oh why do I always have to make a mess I don't know so now I'm just scraping the very last of this darker orange into this other mold and it's time to come through with the lighter orange which even as it's going in it's like it's not even Oh, yes, so the colour difference was just too subtle. That's all right, live and learn. So I also scraped every last little bit out of that jug and ran a little bit of white soap up and down. And I just skipped ahead so you didn't have to see me scraping all of the jugs. But I did, and now you can see me doing the little mattress swirl. So I'm just swirling back and forth, and it's not a perfect mattress swirl. But it's just to do a nice pretty decorative top and I just I just really love doing this. It's my chance to feel a bit arty and do something a little bit unique.
as you can see this cutting turned into a little bit of a trouble for me as well I tried to put the whole loaf into the multi bar cutter and it didn't want to go through so I had to pull out my little marble cutter here and do them one at a time I didn't actually take any pictures of the final soap because I'm hurrying to get ready to go away on my honeymoon. I'm getting married and going on my honeymoon. Squee! So I hope that you enjoyed watching me make this soap because I really enjoyed making it. Here are some pictures of the wet soap. And after I have piped the tops and put the little scrolls in. And this week I'd really like to highlight our group member Renee Newell from the Star Soaps family group on Facebook and her beautiful turtle bath bombs. I absolutely love the way this girl demonstrates and lays out her things to photograph them. They look beautiful, well done, and if you'd like your photo highlighted, come over and join the group. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below, become a member of the Star Soaps family, and feel the soapy love.